Hello, and welcome to this week's episode of... Dulimanjaro! Today we're going to be talking about some of the accessories that go with the domino. But before that, what better way than knocking over some dominoes? Three, two, one... Let's see that again in slow motion. Enough with playing around. Let's talk about these accessories here. So the first thing I want to talk about about these guys is the price and how much they cost. If you buy just the basic domino, uh, the DF500, that's the smaller one, it costs $910. If you buy the kit, which includes this and this, it costs $990. So you pay $80 for these two accessories. Now, the problem is that these two accessories, if you were to buy either one individually, are $75 a piece. I think it's kind of a ridiculous price even for Festool, but that's what it is. So you save basically half price if you get them included in the kit. So the question is, are they actually even worth that half price? And if you want one of them, you're probably better off getting the kit because you basically get the other one for free, uh, as opposed to just buying them separately after the fact. First up, let's talk about the accessory that Festool calls the trim stop. So what this accessory is used for is for making lots of consistent mortises and fairly skinny long boards. This happens to be one of the ones I used to do the strength testing on. I'll put a little card up here if you want to go watch that video. Uh, the way this works, you take this accessory, you slip it on the front, you got to push it in all the way, and then these two clips can be rotated on to engage in these tabs on the fence here and holds it on nice, safe and securely. You then flip it over, or before you put it on, you flip it over and adjust these two fences to the right size for the board so that it fits snugly inside there. And um, it'll take a board from about three quarters of an inch wide up to about two and three quarters of an inch, that's 70 millimeters. On the other side, there's two little measurement gauges here, so you can know that if you have it centered, if you want it off center to one side or the other, you can set that up as well. So this works pretty well. It makes quick work of doing a whole bunch of mortises, but it's really only useful if you're going to be doing face frames all the time. If you're just going to be doing a couple, you can just put the pencil marks on there and line them up manually. That works just as well. The other thing is that when I do this, I like to put the big, a big mortise on the other part that this would be attaching onto, so that that gives me enough side-to-side -side flexibility to make sure everything's lined up real nice. Uh, if I was just using a pencil mark, I could line that up perfectly just using that mark. So it does kind of remove one of the features of the domino, that's the side-to-side the -side registration of the dominoes. Next accessory that Festool includes in the kit version of the domino are these things that they call the cross stops. The way these work, on the fence here there's these two little grooves, they slide in there, and then you flip this lever, that holds them pretty securely on there, and then there's these pins on here which you can use to either register off the end of a part or off one of the dominoes that you've already made. And they can go one that goes on each side, these are adjustable so that you can adjust the pin location from anywhere from about 100 millimeters out to about 220 millimeters, give or take. So theoretically, this crosstop can be very useful if you're cutting a nice long board and you want to make a whole bunch of little mortises along the way. You want to do like one that's 10 feet long, you don't want to make little tick marks each spot. You can go ahead and set this for any spacing that you want and then make that without having to do that. It can be a lot sim uh, quicker and simpler. However, there's an issue with that. So when I make, if I want to glue two boards together like that, I'll put the mortises on one board nice and tight so that the domino stays in there and stays perfectly vertical and doesn't fall over to the side when I'm trying to glue it up. On the other board, I'll make them the nice big mortises that you can do. And that way, um, everything goes together a lot easier to glue up. However, the problem is, because these pins register on the end of one of the mortises, if you do this very quickly, the mortises start to not line up as you go to, along. So for instance, these ones fine, fine. Now here, these two aren't gonna line up. So when you go to glue it up, it's not gonna work. And that'll be a problem. So basically, if you wanna use this, you have to keep it on the narrow setting 
when you're doing both sides of the domino, which means that your mortises have to line up perfectly and it can make your glue ups a lot more difficult. The second problem with this is on some of these mortises, there's little burrs on the end of the mortise that get left when you cut the domino. This happens even if you have a very sharp blade. Usually it's not a big deal. You can either just sand it off or I've never had a problem even gluing it up without it. They just fall into the hole. Not a big deal. However, that little burr is enough to mess up the registration of these pins. And if on one of the boards they have a bunch of those little bur bores and just because of the grain or whatever, the other board doesn't have those, they end up not lining up after a while. So I've had this happen where I tried to use the same size dominoes and going along at the end of the board, then you know, you've got glue on everything and it doesn't line up and it's a real pain to deal with. So I basically stopped using this accessory. Um, I don't find it to be useful enough. The, the downsides of it don't uh, overcome the, the speed increase of not having to you know, make little tick marks where you want your dominoes. So the question is really, should you pay the extra dollar, $80 to get the kit version of this? So it comes down to, this one's pretty useful. You're probably gonna end up using this at some point. This one I don't like and I don't really, wouldn't really use. Maybe there's some people out there that love it, but personally, I don't like it. However, if you're gonna get this one, this one was only an extra five bucks. Kind of might as well get that. Um, however, there's the other opposite that maybe this one's not the best. There's some aftermarket ones that claim to be a lot better. They have a lot more features. I haven't actually used them, but you may be better off skipping these, skipping the kit version and getting one of those aftermarket ones instead to replace this and then not worry about this one. The other thing you could do is you could probably find somebody where they got the kit version and they either didn't use this one, don't ever use this one, or don't ever use both of them and they're just sitting in their box and you could probably get them from them for 20 bucks and you know just throw in some shipping or something. So at the end of the day, I kind of don't think the kit is worthwhile, but if you do think you're going to end up using this one, it might be worthwhile to get because you basically get this one for only five bucks. Thanks for watching. If you happen to find either one of these accessories super useful, leave a comment below. I'd love to hear how you use them. The other videos I've made recently on the Domino, I'll leave some links in the description below. Love to see if you check those out and have some comments on those as well. Thanks for watching.